What's up, YouTube? Quick update on the uh, Speed Passion F1. It's all together. It's ready to go. Uh, it's ready. Yeah, it's almost ready to run. Just got to put the battery, the wheels on, and finish the body up. But all the mechanics is there. Everything's connected. Everything's working properly so far. I went with the um, low-profile servo. I might put another servo horn on there. The one for Entergy I have doesn't fit. Even with the adapters on there for 24 and 25, still doesn't fit. This is a 25 um, tooth servo. Doesn't fit. Another cool thing about this brand, I think this is just regular plastic, but they do sell carbon fiber, as they call it, reinforced arms or upgrades for it. As well as some more aluminum parts like the bulkhead here. So there's like they do make their own upgrades for these cars, which is pretty cool. A little cable management with the little velcro straps. That's all. Just trying to keep everything tidy and loose, removable. Because the battery goes under these top plates. You have to literally take off about six screws to get this up to put the battery in and out. ESC, excuse me, receiver and ESC on these sides for space. The body's kind of narrow, so I had to do that for the particular body I picked up for it. See, a lot of people had these on their side, on them flat down. It sticks out a little bit, but they also have wider bodies, so I had to put mine upward. And it gives a little more protection with the, um, being on the chassis, whereas though some of them are like hanging off. There's the glitch buster. I don't know if I need it yet, but I'll throw it on there anyway. It doesn't hurt. They came with the servo. A little wire management. Energy, energy fan that I had. This motor mount came with pre-drilled holes to put a fan on the side. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's it. Aluminum. That's a steel. It's a steel axle right here. came with it. That's steel. one eighth scale ball diff. This is the manual says the one inch scale. Uh, just throw a little pinion on there for now. You can't give us so much. I mean, you, you could work something out, but we're not a little pinion on there. Gotta give it a test run, see what happens with it. Back up a little bit. Solid the wire straight on the motor. I'm running sensor. First time doing mess, messing with that. Wire straight on there, soldered on. I might put some liquid tape on just to cover them up. So they're soldered directly onto the motor, brushless motor, wire management. This cat pack actually came pre-soldered on to the ESC terminal. ESC aluminum housing. Had to take the fan off so the body fit, but I'll put some little vent holes in front of the body to keep some air going on there. But this is 120 amp ESC, so Shouldn't get too hot. But, and it's aluminum housing. The whole thing's aluminum. But the air blowing on it should be, should be okay. But we know. Only time and testing can tell. I ordered some more body posts. You can barely see this one. The body's like right there when I put it on. So hopefully they come in the mail. Hopefully today or tomorrow. Some optional longer body posts. And that's about it. It's working on the body right now. Like I said, these are real narrow. Never worked on anything that's narrow. Space is very limited. So is the body. So I have no idea when to put the GPS at. Can't put it here because the driver of the body dips down. So I have to see if I can put it in the back somehow. The rear wing still goes here. The rear wing takes up this space. So I have to see if I can put the G, uh, GPS on the back of there somehow. Now I'll work something out. But um, the body gonna be a minute because it's a real narrow body. I can't use my painter's tape. So I had to get the, uh, break out the um, liquid mask. So I'm about to start putting coats of that on there. Real simple, two color design, nothing, nothing fancy. But that's it, F1. Speed Passion F1. Almost ready to go. I have the tires already, I have, uh, foam and rubber tires. 
And that's about it. Peace.